Hey everyone, welcome to my channel Electric. Today we are diving into a super important concept in electrical engineering, power factor. If that sounds a bit complex, don't worry, we are going to break it down into simple, easy to understand pieces. Ready? Let's go. Alright, let's start with the basics. Power factor is all about understanding how efficiently electrical power is being used in a circuit. Imagine you are using a blender in your kitchen. You plug it in and it runs. Simple, right? But what if I told you that not all the power from your outlet is actually used to blend your smoothie? When we talk about power, we often think of it in two main ways. Real power and reactive power. Real power is the actual power that does useful work, like blending that smoothie. Reactive power, on the other hand, is like the energy that goes into creating the magnetic fields in motors or transformers, but doesn't directly perform any work. So what's power factor? Simply put, it's the ratio of real power to the total power supplied. It tells us how efficiently the electrical power is being converted into useful work. Power factor is represented as a number between 0 and 1, or as a percentage. A power factor of 1 or 100% means all the power is being used efficiently. Let's make this even clearer with an example. Suppose you have a machine with a power factor of 0.8 or 80%. This means that only 80% of the power you are paying for is actually used for doing work, while the remaining 20% is wasted. In other words, the machine is not as efficient as it could be. Let's see how we calculate power factor. It's actually quite simple. You just divide real power by total power. If your real power is 80 watts and your total power is 100 watts, your power factor is 0.8 or 80%. Now why is this important? A low power factor means more energy is wasted and you might end up paying more for electricity. For businesses and industries, a low power factor can lead to extra charges from the power company and can even affect the performance of equipment. That's why industries often use devices called power factor correction devices to improve their power factor. This makes their electrical systems more efficient and can save them a lot of money. To wrap it up, power factor helps us understand how efficiently we are using electrical power. A high power factor means better efficiency, less wasted energy and lower electricity bills. Simple, right? Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more easy to understand electrical engineering tips. Got any questions or topics you want us to cover? Drop them in the comments below. See you next time. Thank you.